I'm coming to get ya! Oh, eventually to start my work. There we go. Hey guys, welcome to some more F Zero. Um, all right. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a night cup. See, JB Crystal hasn't done one, but I don't think I want to use that craft. Fireball yeah, has done a night cup. Don't really want to use him either. Sly Joker has, unfortunately. Yeah, nah, let's not use JB Crystal. Stingray. Yes, he hasn't done the fire. No night cup. My bad. Let's use him. So here we go, Temp Zone East. And basically, let's use it. Yeah, I uh, decided to use him over JV Crystal and Fireball because JV Crystal and Fireball are always on the front row, so I think that implies that they're easier craft to use. Anyways, got the boost start, and so Stingray, what can we say about him? Well, this this rear shot of him looks a bit silly. If I'm honest, it looks a bit stupid. It looks. I don't like the idea that it looks like the thrusters are going under the craft when, in fact, they're not. You see his actual. Uh, we'll see it if we win a race. He, he looks. The craft actually looks pretty damn good when he win, wins a race. But at the minute, it just looks a bit weird. It looks like half a spinning top. Anyways, not much to say about this first lap. It was pretty damn normal. Although. Uh, JV Crystal was catching up to me, but now we unleash Stingray's key feature, which is his 12 seconds of boost. That is the longest boost in out of all the craft you can pick. I think second to that. I don't know how long Jeb Millions is, but I know for a fact that Fire Stingray's, oh no, just the Stingray's, is 12 seconds. That is that, that in theory is really good on this difficulty, massive difficulty. Because what it is what's it, what it's all about is if you if you're boosting or if if you're travelling at a fair amount above your normal speed, you will or you have to be travelling at that amount of speed to basically match these guys. So the twelve seconds of boost speed, yeah that's that that sounds really good, but I think to compensate for that he's got I think the slowest boost speed in the game. A lowly 525, I think. I think when you think about it, the others have around 560, 580, Jet Vermillions is over 600. Oh, just hit the mine there, that wasn't good, but at least I didn't hit the back markers. Final lap, my man, I'm in first! Uh, I f also, things to know about um, Stingray, he's got. He's got C. He's got C turning performance and C turning balance. That's, that's not bad. It, you've got a blast turn your way, but if you can get you can get used to craft that can C turn because honestly, I don't think there is a craft that can that has a B turning performance. Uh, I think uh, I think Hot Violet might be the only one, or Fireball, one of those two. Anyways, first place and two minutes ten. Uh, well, I say that because it's a new record apparently. I'm not sure if the records carry by ship or by course, but meh, let's go for it. Beacon Road. Right, now this has got to be a free pass. You, there's no way, even a master. Right, I've just messed up a boost start because, well, I'm a dub. This pickup's not bad, well, it's third. Third out of that lot, Windwalker would trash these guys off the line. And, oh, <laughs> damn, kind of just hit Hot Violet there, that wasn't really professional at all. Uh, Also, I know the pilot of this craft, I don't know his name, but I think he's like an, um, a North American basketball player from the future. But yeah, look, you can see this craft, this track is, it's, I don't mind, I like this track, I mean, I've said it before, I think the only kind of tracks I don't like are the start farm circuits, they just seem boring in my opinion. Anyways, yeah, like, you gotta... You can only just make it around that hairpin. I'm trying to blast turn as good as I can. C turning performance. It doesn't, doesn't matter about stability, because obviously blast turning. Blast turning is just so that. Blast turning is just so you have grip. But alright, I can navigate around JV Crystal then. That's how, that's how people are so good with Windwalk. That's how people are so good with Windwalker, because 
he's got a he's got a turning performance and de-turning balance. If you can blast turn with Windwalker, then you can get around a hairpin while boosting. As far as and as far as I can. Anyways, speaking of boosting, the circuit seems to have a lot of it. We're gonna unleash our boost here because well, this is like this is like the longest part of the chunk about boost, and with fire stingray, it just seems. You just don't seem to stop boosting around this circuit. Alright, maybe now, because I've just... Oh no, no, I think I'll, apparently I'll still boost it. But still, you're not going to slow down to normal speed for a long while, yeah? Uh, until now. And then another boost arrow. See? And notice how I haven't lost the lead. I mean, well, no, right. I had a little bit of a scrap with JV Crystal for the lead, but, but nothing, nothing to, you know... Nothing too threatening, although I did just hit a mine there, that was pretty bad of me. And the back marker slowed me right down, but it's alright because I have boost. Still, 12 seconds of it. Just gotta make that a point. This is basically the only reason I'm still in this cup at the minute. Oh god, no, here they come now. I've saved up. I think in the air, now's a good time to use my boost because otherwise most of it would have been wasted for the, for the finish. Yeah, if I used it now, I would have had like two seconds of it, and I would not have won the race. So there we go, another win. Look, he doesn't look that bad from the side view, but from the rear view, he just looks a bit weird. All right. So now we move on to Sinobaz. I, I, I do like that name, that word, Sinobaz. And it's got a pretty it's got a pretty creepy theme to it. It's got a pretty creepy soundtrack to it to start with. Alright, I just nailed the boost start, but you know, I just kind of hit the wall because I'm a dub. And now I'm trying to block. Okay, with C-turn performance, you can't get around that while boosting. I think the only craft that can boost around that is probably Windwalker. And any craft that has B-turn in performance. Now, look at that, guys. I actually managed to use the mines in the right way, or in the fast way. Like, you use the mines to just get a little boost. That's how most of the people do their championship runs, and I just can't use the mines right up. I miss them. I don't... Uh, I, I get too scared of going head-on into the mines, and then I just... miss them. Anyways, I'm fighting for... Well, I'm fighting for the lead, but at the minute I'm in fourth. That's how close this is at the minute. Let's see that. That's another way you can... The circuit. Okay. Yeah, the circuit has a mixture of boosting and lines you can take that are better than the air. And just then, I mean, I, it's great how I hit the mine well, I hit the mine well and I bounce off it well, but I bounce into another mine and I've just taken a better line than Hot Violet and Vi Fireball around the hairpin. Meaning, I'm only just able to hold the lead as long as I keep blocking well. So look, this is where I can stay ahead if I can get the apexes, but that freaking back marker! Yeah, now's a good time to boost. I've got plenty of it, of course. Yeah, I'm not going so fast, but nonetheless, I'm still boosting. This is like, yeah, main rule: as long as you're boosting, you're bound to go past the even expert here. That mine wasn't even a standard placed mine, and yet I was still able to use it right. Second to last lap. I don't get why it goes last two. I'd rather it go. I like the traditional 2 out of 5 or whatever, but I suppose this is a Japanese Game Boy Advance game. I'm not going to argue. It's an awesome game. I think it is my favourite F-Zero game. S somehow still leading this. This is, honestly, this is the track. This is the bastard of the track that tends to kill me. Um, honestly, yeah. Uh, this is where most of my cup runs end. I lose all... Literally, I, I do perfectly on um, Tempsonis, I do perfectly on Beacon Road, and then I get to distract this, it's like, no, nah, we're just going to kill you five times over. Like that. That could, that basically happens to me on every, every, like, you know, every corner, basically. Like, now, they could easily just put me into that outer wall. Like, like they just did now, and I've got low power. I've got low power, but I'm winning! Booyah! Yeah, no, that, that can happen on just about every corner, and if it does, you're dead. And that's basically what happens to me, that's basically why my cup run ends. Got some fast times there. Ancient Mesa. Split circuit. I like the circuit just because it's got that triangle. I mean, it's a split... 
No, why, why call it a split circuit? I'm sorry, but Stark Farm third circuit also splits off like that triangle. Yet this is the split circuit. Uh, that's the problem. I think that's a problem that Nintendo had with these games. Was some of the tracks are called like split circuit or tube circuit or something. I don't know, actually know which circuit is actually called tube circuit, but jump circuit. Like, they're given these names to give you a brief description of what they're like, when only one minor part of a track is like that. Like, this track, for instance, is obviously called Split Circuit. I mean, to be fair, right, you got Emperine Colony, which is which has got Dash and Twist Circuit, and they actually live up to half the track is kind of like Dash Circuits. Half a twi track is, like, covered in twisty plates. So, to be fair, they do a good job, they do a meh job like this track. This might as well just be called uh, First Circuit for Ancient Visa. Anyways, had a pretty damn hectic first two laps. Sorry I've lapped on a bit there, but you know. As the circuit, yeah, we're going to. I always seem to go right for some reason, and I always seem. I always seem to miss the arrows. Like, the double set of arrows. Now's a good time to boost when you slow down from leaving the triangle, or start to slow down from leaving the triangle, that's when I tend to activate boost. Also, you've probably seen that I've also tend to aim for the middle arrow, and I also just cannot navigate that wall. Windwalker is leading. I mean, I sound surprised, because... I sound surprised because Stingray takes Windwalker's spot, so it's effectively Windwalker starts in fifth. And yet he's leading, and I hit the apex. If I didn't hit the apex, I could have... I can cheat that, you can cheat that corner. I think once I actually managed to uh, do the jump and get past the start finish line, I think I had to do the whole lap again. Needless to say, I think I lost the race because of that. I fell down to like ninth. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to win this though. Oh, I hit the bank marker, missed both sets of arrows, that is bad. I've got a boost now. Thank god I've got the boost. And I, oh my god, no! Not good at all. Alright, I've got to cheat the corner now. Down to fifth, up to third. Ugh, that could have went better. Yeah, nothing to say there. Just a bit of dead air. Just as you kind of admired at lap times. But we moved to start round to third circuit. So like I say, these, these tracks just seem to be slightly more dull than the others. I'm not sure if it's the soundtrack that's just not quite fitting. Anyways, I nailed the boost start, and immediately they're up my ass, almost literally. But, alright, again, I, t I tend to take, I tend to just pick one, one fork and stick to it for the whole race. Sorry about that, but... And if you could, right, if you can take that, hair, that last hairpin, you can boost around that hairpin with C-class turning performance. You've just got, got to pick, get the absolute perfect line. And I'm probably nowhere near good enough for that, unfortunately. But alright, I see. You, I'm not sure where is best to boost on this track. I tend to boost it just to take a little bit out of the jump. No real, no real benefit, I guess. But as you can see, that last hairpin somehow managed to take that it's literally on the edge of the guardrail. So close to getting bounced back. But that, yeah, like I said, that just shows that you can boost around the corner in the C-class turning performance. I, I tell you why you can boost around, why I keep saying boost, because of those arrows and that I just completely misjudged the first turning point, turning phase, where you like go left but point right, like you counter drift. I don't know what happened there, I just tended to veer off into the guardrails a bit. Get juggled around a bit. I could have used that mine instead of boosting, but uh, I, don't, I don't again I don't rely on my ability with a mine and I keep only just making it onto the track. I've got to be careful. If you land right on the edge of the guardrail you will die. Final lap. This cup is almost over. Dear. I don't know why I'm making this sound tense because as long as I finish third then this, I can wrap this cup up, no biggie. But 
I, I don't know, I'm not liking that half shield I have. Oh well, that's a win. In what looks like a bug. So yeah, <laughs> that is the night cup done. Not much to say, the lap times are pretty good. Uh, just before I wrap this up though, we're just going to check out where I failed. There is just the one fail in Sinobaz, where I crashed out on lap 4 it says. We're going to start at lap 2 because this is when things go wrong. Things are actually going pretty normal until I just fail to make the turn, hit the wall, back into fireball and then back into the turn. Then um, we're just going to speed things up because things go pretty normal. Um, until now we back past the mines. Uh, I seem to navigate the mines well until I hit the inside wall into a back marker. That doesn't really go well. And then I hit that mine the wrong way and I've lost a lot of shield because of that. I've got no power. I'm struggling to stick with these guys now. Somehow hit the back of JV Crystal just a second there. Two laps to go. I'm in a strong position as long as that back marker was just not there. Why was that back marker there? That has basically gone and destroyed my race. Struggling to even stay fifth now. I hit another apex and another one, and everything has just gone wrong. You're just gonna. I'm trying to boost. This to the point where not even when you're boosting you can stick with the pack, and uh, I just sort of gave up there. Unfortunately, but yeah, that was the one fail. Sinobaz. That is basically what Sinobaz does, and that's the night cup done on maximum velocity. I do promise other F-Zero videos soon, as in like, other F-Zero games. Not GP Legend, no, because I don't like that game. As in, it's it's just too easy. I don't mean to sound arrogant or anything, but there's no Masterclass. And if there's no Masterclass, it's not worth it. Masterclass is what makes F-Zero absolutely worth it. But as we just see these times, see, see the see basically the summary of this cup. Yep, I promise. Definitely more F-Zero X, more F-Zero SNES, more, maybe even F-Zero GX. I doubt it though, because I don't, I don't have that game on me. I'm, I'm away from home. I'm going to be away from home, so I'm not going to have F-Zero GX on me. And F-Zero X is going to be, I have F-Zero X, but I'm leaving my, all my actual copies of F-Zero X at home. Again, I'm going to be away from home. If you like the song, please be sure to give interaction. I'll certainly, I'll certainly do more either way. But you know, knowing that you guys watch this just makes me happy inside. But other than that, this has been Jacker, and I will see you in the next video. Checkpoint!